So part two of this lesson is going to be using the energy calculation. We're using the energy formula. Okay. Now, in this case, there's a couple of things that we're familiar with, right? So this V, this upside down V, which is new, is a frequency. Um, and the unit for frequency is the per second. We're also familiar with the E. That's energy. But we haven't really defined what the unit for energy is. And in, and in chemistry and physics, for that matter, the unit of energy is the joule, which is just a big J. Now, the other variable in this problem is H, which is known as Planck's constant. I believe the proper pronunciation for that is Planck's constant, but, you know, the value here is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Okay. Now, the formula itself is not hard to use. It's just the way that we use the formula is a little challenging, okay? So the best way for me to walk through that is going to be to do a couple of examples with you. So as we go through these examples, I'm gonna show you how it is that I tackle these problems. Um, there's more than one way to do them, but this is the way that I tackle them. So this problem says, calculate the energy of light with a wavelength of 695 nanometers. So again, I usually highlight what it's asking me to do. So it's asking me to calculate the energy of light that has a wavelength of 695 nanometers, okay? Now, I'm telling you that with these style problems, you're going to use both formulas in order to get one answer. It is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. Okay. Now, so I'm telling you that you will have a formula which will be C is equal to wavelength times frequency, and we will be using E is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. Now, I'm going to, this is the reason why I started with the identifying the variables because of this style of problem. So I'm going to set up my variables like this. C, wavelength, Frequency, energy, Planck's constant. Because those are really, because frequency shows up twice, so I don't need that two times. I also know that my wavelength is 695 nanometers. I know that the speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And I also know that Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Now what I like to do with these problems is plug in what I have and then decide which, which formula to use. But before I get going, is there anything I need to change about any of the numbers that I have? Correct. We have to change the wavelength to meters. So we have to recall that the relationship is 1 meter is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the 9 nanometers. So I'm going to put the 1.0 times 10 to the 9 
nanometers on the bottom, the meter on top, 695 divided by 1 times 10 to the 9 gets me a wavelength of 6.95 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. So at this point, I'm going to fill in any number that I have in terms of substitution. So I'm going to take the 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second is equal to the 6.95 times 10 to the negative 7 meters times frequency. And in the formula on the bottom, the only number that I actually know is Planck's constant. And technically speaking, I can't solve the formula on the bottom with what I have. Can I solve the formula on the top, though? Yeah. Yeah, I can solve for frequency, right? So I'm going to do that by dividing both sides by the 6.95. So 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 6.95 times 10 to the negative 7 gives me a frequency 4.31654676.3 times 10 to the 14. Now, what unit would this be again? The per seconds. Okay. Now, again, we do have to assess sig figs. So, three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs. So, my, my frequency is technically going to be 4.32 times 10 to the 14 per seconds. Now, can I use what I just so solved for in the problem down in this in the um, formula down below? Yes. Yeah, because it's asking me to solve for energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by the 4.32 times 10 to the 14 per seconds. So now I'm going to take that value times 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34. And the calculator is going to give me an answer of E being equal to 2.86187.05 times 10 to the minus 19. And that would be joules. And again... We're going to round this to have three sig figs. And that one cannot round the six up. So my final answer is going to be 2.86 times 10 to the minus 19 joules is my energy. Now, with this style of problem, when it asks you to determine what the electromagnetic radiation is, again, I usually go back to what the wavelength is or the number given to me in the problem. Because if I made a mistake in my calculations, then I'm going to make a mistake here. So I see that my wavelength is 695 nanometers. So I'm going to go back up there. And locates 695, which is like probably somewhere around here, which still makes it in the visible light spectrum. So that will be visible light.
And there's one more that we have to do. I know we can do it while we're doing it or while you're preparing to do it. I will highlight some stuff. So this one tells me to calculate the wavelength of light that has an energy equal to, so it has an energy equal to 5.56 times 10 to the minus 29. And then it wants me to convert my answer to wave to nanometers, which that's a, that's a later problem. Let's figure out what we're dealing with first. So in this case, I'm going to do just like I did before. C is equal to wavelength, oops, wavelength times frequency. And I'm going to do energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. And then I'm going to set up my variables, which is C wavelength frequency. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, energy and Planck's constant. In this case, the only number that I've been given is my energy. So I'm going to fill that in right away, which was 5.56 times 10 to the negative 29 joules. Um, I know Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And I know that the speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So just like I've done in the past, I'm going to fill in the numbers that I know. So I'm going to take the 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And I don't know my wavelength, so I'm going to plug that in there. And I don't know my frequency, so I'm going to leave that in there. With the other formula, I do know my energy, which is 5.56 times 10 to the negative 29 joules. I do know Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And I can solve for frequency. I'm going to solve for frequency by doing what I've been always doing. It's dividing both sides by something. In this case, it's going to be the 6.63. times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And when I do that, I get a value Um, of which is kind of a fun number actually eight eighty three thousand eight three um, eight six one point two three six eight um, but we want it to have the right number of sig figs right so we're gonna say that the first number is three sig figs this number is three sig figs so this number should have three sig figs and to do that, I'm going to count one, two, three, and that becomes a nine. So then the frequency is 83,900 with no decimal point technically. And that's going to be per seconds for my frequency. So now I'm going to use that value to solve for wavelength in the problem up above. So I'm going to cross this out and add 83,900 per seconds. Still going to divide both sides. So 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 83,900 gives me a wavelength 
that is 3,575.68534. But we want this to have three sig figs, right? So this becomes 3,580. And my unit here is going to be meters for my wavelength. So now, am I done? No, I have to convert it to nanometers. i got to convert this guy to, to nanometers. Holy mackerel. So one meter is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the 9 nanometers. So I'm going to take that. I need more room, so I'm going to do it down here. 3,580 meters. I've got my one meter on the bottom, the 1.0 times 10 to the 9 nanometers on the top. And I get something like 3.58, oops, 58 times 10 to the 12th nanometers. Now, this is a lot, and there's one more part of this, which is to figure out which type of um, energy it is, right? So this time, because I didn't have an energy to actually go and consult, I am going to use my calculated value. So I'm going to take the 3.58 times 10 to the 12 nanometers, and I'm going to go up to the top and see that 3.58 times 10 to the 12, 10 to the 12 would be way up here. Right? So that means that the type of electromagnetic radiation that this is going to be will be radio. Your homework is to do the next worksheet in the packet, which is a two-sider. The first one is like the la is the first three the first two questions. The last one is like these two. You got this. I believe in you all. Have a great weekend.